Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. In your settings, you're going to see the first option up here. It's maybe it's your device name or your name. Just click right there and then make it back up using iCloud. If you have no more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer and use iTunes or Finder in order to make that backup. Also, if you have any problems, use your computer in order to make the backup and update your iPad. Anyways, once you've done that, we can go right into general. After general, you're going to see the second option, software update. And then from here, we should see the latest iPad OS, which in this case, it's 14.6. We're going to tap on downloading install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. Then we're going to start off with the installation. Well, the download. Then it's going to install. If you would like to know more information about the actual update, we can always click on learn more. And then from here, we should see a little bit more information about the update itself. So if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see a little bit more information. Scroll up, just the basic info. Anyways, we're going to click on done. And that's it. So make sure to have at least 50% of your battery. Even if you do have, let's say, 80%, I would still recommend to hook up your iPad some electricity once it's running any update. Because if it turns off when it's downloading, it's not a big deal. However, it is when it's installing the update. Because if it just turns off for any reason during the installation, then we will have to restore it. And that's why I always suggest making that backup just in case something goes wrong and we do have to restore it. Because restore means you're going to delete everything from your iPad. However, if you have a backup, then we can load everything back in anyways. Now, some of you may not have seen download and install. Some of you may have seen only install option. That's okay. Depending on your settings on your iPad, the update might have downloaded already and it's ready to be installed. So all we have to do is tap on install now. The downloading time of the new iPad OS does depend on your internet speed. So for some of you, it might just be a few minutes. Others, it might be just a few seconds. All right, so if you left your iPad alone, it would have installed the update by itself. So that's exactly what happened in this case. And we're gonna see this, restart an Apple logo, a loading bar. It's gonna go a little bit slow. And then we're gonna see another Apple logo in a loading bar. This time it's gonna go a lot faster. After this, we will be done with update for your iPad. After a few minutes, we're just gonna see this. Just put in your touch ID. After you put in your passcode, you are all done. We can go right into settings and check if everything went okay. We can go back into software update and we should see that our iPad should say that it's up to date. And that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.